going on everyone? It's Bales and welcome back to an AFL Fantasy Daily News Recap. It is Monday the 27th of March and not too much in terms of news today, just in terms of what came out of the weekend. So I think the biggest one obviously was that Jack Steele with that broken collarbone will be missing for at least four weeks. It could be a little bit more obviously with that. He had that shoulder concern last year. I think it was the same shoulder as well so he may be out there and a few coaches are going to have to be looking for a replacement for him so let me know in the comments below because you've got a few options because you can go up to a to a Laird or an Oliver or a Brayshaw you can even go down to a Setterfield or an LDU or something like that so let me know in the comments below what you're doing with Jack Steele if you are a Jack Steele owner. Josh Kelly and Lockie Whitfield obviously missed this past weekend through concussion Adam Kings expects both of them to be all good for this upcoming week game against Carlton. Obviously, they've got to get past concussion protocols, but it looks like they're all good. So if you did hold Josh Kelly last week, then he should be good to go for this weekend. And then also, Elliot Yeo is unlikely for this week. So if you were looking at him as like an option to bring in, probably not this week, but maybe in a week's time or so, you have to be a little bit longer than that because he'll be missing again this week. Or he's a lot more unlikely to play than he is likely. So in terms of the stuff that's come out today, so obviously the big one is uh, Will Ashcroft, rising star award for round two with his 31 disposals and 90 points on the weekend. So obviously great for all those coaches. There's a lot of them out there as well that have got him kickstart. Really kickstart his cash generation this week. Low break even, he'll be good for the next few weeks. Melbourne have got a couple of injury issues to deal with. So from last Friday night, they obviously had Max Gorn, their captain, go down with an injury. So he'll be out for four to six weeks. I'm sure many of you would have seen that across the news on the weekend. But also, Christian Salem is set for, uh, I think, knee surgery on a, a, menis- a slight meniscus tear. So he's going to be out for a bit of a longer stint than what he was first anticipated. So there's an exact time frame on that, but he will be missing a few weeks at least. Um, Bulldogs defender Ryan Gardner could be back. So that could shift sort of the dog's back line. So does that affect... A Caleb Daniel, does he stay in the midfield or does he come or because I know he's a key defender, but it just could change the mix down there. So just keep an eye on that one there. Um, Jaden Short is out of the game against Collingwood on Friday night, so he'll be missing. So you can pretty much roll him out as a DPP addition in round six anyway, because he's playing more of a wing slash half forward role. I think he played a little bit of halfback against Carlton in the first game, but I doubt he'll be getting DPP and with him missing a game, it makes it even more unlikely but to go along with Jaden Shaw also it looks like Dustin Martin could be racing uh, against the clock to be fit for Friday night's game against Collingwood with a bit of hamstring tightness he was subbed out against Adelaide and then also Jacob Hopper so we thought he was okay but he actually looks like he's more uh, doubtful than likely to play so that's one more for super coach but especially for AFL fantasy draft coaches that is one to keep an eye on because if he doesn't play then you have to figure out another plan for him so yeah, Richmond could be a few down in their game against Collingwood. Um, Charlie Ballard's been suspended by a game, um, for a game, sorry. Uh, so he'll be missing for his strike on, I can't remember who it was in the uh, third quarter. Uh, Matt Guelphie, that's right, Matt Guelphie in the, in the goal square. So he'll be missing. So that's probably good news for a guy like Bodie Uland, who we thought maybe his job security is not too great. And also could be good for Charlie Constable. Maybe it's just that they do a lot for lots of the key defender, but it could be good news that... They keep their spot. So it is just one to keep an eye on, but um, could be good news for a few of those guys there. And that's pretty much all the news from coming out from the weekend. I think the only other thing that I'll probably touch on as well is Jai Simpkin is going to be suspended for a week. So for his strike on Caleb Sarong. Um, so coaches that have got him, we'll have to look, obviously look to move him on. But then also coaches that maybe have an LDU, that's probably a bit more of a danger sign that there's really that one main target for North Melbourne that I think Finn McGuinness is going to tag. So just a flag there. He could take Sheasel. Sheasel's been very, very good the first two games, but I think he'll go to LDU and Sim could not being there. That could be bad news. But could it be good for Tom Powell owners? Uh, does Tom Powell go back and run the midfield? So, interesting. I'm on those Tom Powell owners. I don't think it's going to change that too much because maybe Will Phillips just comes in, but I think we'll just have to see who comes into the North Melbourne side and how it all shakes out. But that's going to be all the news for on this Monday afternoon. So, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. I think we're near 800. So I appreciate all the support everyone's been showing so far this season. Social media links in the description below. Go follow me on all the socials. If you've got any questions, hit me up uh, via any of those. And then also turn notifications on YouTube so you don't miss when I go live or upload any other content in the future. So I'll catch you guys again tomorrow for another AFL Fantasy Daily News Recap. Plenty of injury reports will be coming out later this evening and tomorrow. So we'll have a bit more to cover tomorrow. But... 
Until then, I'll catch you guys later. I'm out. Cheers. <laughs>